Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today from McFarlane Toys in their DC Multiverse line, we are featuring Scarecrow as he appears in the video game Batman Arkham Knight. All right, so um, I believe there is a variation of this figure. Um, I wanna say it might be a, a from the McFarlane Gold Label Collection. I can't remember what's different about it. I think it features a different color scheme, um, but this is the mainline release. It's a beautiful looking figure. Um, as you can see, it's an extremely far departure from the traditional comic book inspired Scarecrow. Um, this one is based off of the video game design as seen in the Batman Arkham series of video games. Um, on the back of the box, beautiful rendering of the character. It's, it's strikingly uh, frightening, overly detailed, and just amazing all around. Uh, much like the rest of the character designs from the video game series. Alright, let's get this guy out. And we have a guest appearance by Thanos over here. Alright, Thanos, go back. Okay, um... Alright, so uh, we also get the trading card and the display base, as you can see. First impressions of the action figure while it's still in its plastic tray. Um, this is amazing. I think this is one of the most detailed and well-designed characters um, in the McFarlane toy line, period. Um, it's a really incredible fantastic modern interpretation of a classic villain as he's seen in the modern video game and it's hauntingly beautiful the color scheme it's i think perfect you know it's it has black has some orange and some grays and silvers and even though some of those colors are very sparse on the body of the character it does an excellent job of like really accenting some of the details and drawing your focus to where it needs to be. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm very, very impressed with this. All right, let's examine him up close and take a look at the sculpting. Um, I can't stress this enough. It's a beautiful figure. Even if you are unfamiliar with this design from the video game, you know, this is um, just a striking figure overall. You know, you can incorporate this into other toy lines, or if you're into fig photography, this makes a great, like, almost like horror-themed character. You know, he has his noose around his neck, kind of like uh, paying homage to the original Scarecrow design. Um, he kind of has somewhat vaguely um, reminiscent of the burlap sack over his head, but you can kind of see the stitching. It's almost kind of like they're trying to keep his mouth shut. And he kind of has like the, the gas mask ventilators on each side. Uh, he has the stitched hood. It's kind of like Frankenstein together. Beautiful texturing throughout the costume, as you can see. Um... He has his canisters uh, with his uh, toxin, um, some pouches. You know, the design of this character, it's its so well done. You know, this could easily be like a Mortal Kombat character. Um, this seems like something that could easily be pulled out of the video game Wolfenstein. It's an incredible looking piece. Um, I mean, the attention to detail is this mind-numbingly beautiful look at that you know the attention to detail is just so well done and the sculpting and the final produced figure is very clean also i'm not noticing any signs of like muddy textures or anything along the, those lines he has the full-on leg brace on one side looks really cool 
you know, even his shoelaces, really well done. You know, this is a beautiful figure. You know, if you could get the standard release or the gold label figure, you know, I, I you're not going to be disappointed. You know, very rarely are, do figures come along that impress me this much. Striking piece. Now, in terms of his articulation, Scarecrow's head, let's see if it rotates. It rotates. And he's, if, as you notice, also the noose is independent of the neck. Uh, will he look down a little bit? Will he look up? Uh, not so much. It's more so looking forward. His arms rotate. Um, there is some collision with the shoulder piece here, but it's a soft material, as you can see. Quite flexible. His arms go outward. Um, I can't tell if he has the butterfly joint underneath. Um, does he swivel? Swivels. Feels like mid-torso and possibly might also swivel at the waist. It's kind of hard to tell due to like all the um, overlapping details here. Um, legs kick upward about there. Kick outward. It seems like he could go full splits, but due to the nature of his coat, it kind of overlaps his hips. So you might find that the articulation is somewhat hindered. Uh, double pinned knees. Uh, uh, let's see what else. Toe articulation and ankle articulation. Yeah, so overall, yeah, he features, you know, pretty much all the standard articulation you expect from a McFarlane figure in the multiverse line. But yeah, the detail to this is just, it's just amazing. Really beautiful, well done character, well crafted. Um, let's see, let's check out the posability somewhat, see what kind of poses we could get him into. Yeah, you're going to notice that, you know, with some of the overlapping pieces, it might collide with some of the limbs, you know, kind of restricting your, your movement a little bit. But for the most part, I think you can look beyond that, and it's just a very impressive display piece. You know, if you're into fig photography, this guy is very photogenic. Uh, the shade of black they're using on him, it's kind of, it's not too matte, and it's not too glossy. You know, it's almost... You know, border lighting maybe on like on a satin finish. So it receives the light well without reflecting off too much light where it blows out the details. And I love the cracking on his coat. It looks amazing. Simply one of the best figures I've looked at this year. Um, and it's, it's interesting too because timing wise we also got another Scarecrow figure recently. Uh, this is the Infinite Frontier Scarecrow. Um, be on the lookout for a video review on this guy. Um, also, a very strikingly beautiful character. And as you can see, very both uh, designs are very different than the traditional Scarecrow that you, we've seen in the comic books and in the con and in the uh, cartoons. You know, they're both very eerie-looking characters, borderlining on almost like horror. And I think it's, for me, it's a well-received um, change and update to the character's uh, aesthetic. Both really well done. Alright, so how do I rate a guy like this on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, visually, um, he's perfect. You know, I, I think this really embodies uh, the look of the character in the video game. And like I said, you know, I think one of the strongest points with this figure is that even if you're not familiar with the video game, or even the Scarecrow character in general, I think this is just an amazing action figure overall. Um, so I think in the end, I'd probably give this guy a solid 9. You know, if the articulation had, you know, the range of motion that I kind of wanted, uh, where, you know, I could kind of get him in all the crazier poses, I'd probably give it, you know, almost like a perfect 10. But for the most part, um, it's really well done. Um, beautiful figure. And it's definitely one sh worth showcasing in your collection. Alright, so with that being said, let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So, until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I will see you at the next one. Alright, later.